we're, we're gonna go into solo mode and just try out some test hands. Solo mode is like one of the most convenient things they've ever made for this thing, like ever. Okay, so we drew two over after Dragon Shrine and you know some other stuff. Um, so let's let's play assuming our opponent doesn't have any negates, which I know it's like it's it's 2019, everyone's playing hand traps, but let's play assuming. My opponent did not get any hand traps. So, just what what can this deck do in general? So, you know, mill the Dark Worm. You, you want to special them out this Dark Worm. Uh, so that Dark Worm can search. Dark Worm can search the... Uh, the Gate Zero to hand. Just activate it and just leave it there. Because that's going to be important later on, and I'd rather activate it now than activate it later on. So, normal out the Oviraptor. Oviraptor gets to... At this point, you have a choice between Miscellaneous Source or Carbon Eden, But, uh, just send Carbon Eden from, from the deck to the graveyard with Oviraptor. Banish the Carbon Eden, And now you have Ib. Because you're going to special summon the Flame Ball Garden defense with uh, Carbon Eden's effect. And then you get to send, uh, you know, both of them for a Synchro Summon. Go into Ib. And then when Ib is Synchro Summoned, you get to search your World Legacy Gar Dragon. Uh, since you already have another Dragon on field, you don't need to activate your World Legacy Guard Dragon, which is, like, it, I, I'd say it's better to save it for later, because once you get into your Black Metal Dragon, that's when shit will start going off. So, send Ib, uh, use your Dark Worm, and summon out your Cyphering Lord Lambda. It could be any Link 2, honestly, it's just Lambda, it's just, you know, a consistent, easy-to-make Link 2. And you usually play it in Dragon Link, so you're probably going to have it sitting around anyway, if you're playing this deck. So now, um, since Ib was sent to the graveyard, you get Special Summon World Chalice Guard Dragon from your deck. And now you're going to use World Chalice Guard Dragon to go into your Alpi. Now you have two options at this point. You can use your World Chalice Guard Dragon to summon out the Flame Ball Guard, or you can use your World Legacy Guard Dragon to bring back, um, you know, any, any monster. I would say just use your World Legacy, uh, or World Chalice Guard Dragon. So banish it, you get to special summon out Flame Ball Garden Defense Mode to a zone a Link Monster points to. So summon out to, to Lambda Zone. And go into a Guard Dragon Pisty. And now um, LP is live to activate its effect. So now since two Link Monsters point to the same zone, um, or two or more Link Monsters point to the same zone, LP gets to special summon a dragon monster from the deck. Now, you're going to summon out Black Metal Dragon. Normally, in regular Dragon Link, you'd go into Red Eyes Darkness Metal from right here, but you're going to go into Black Metal Dragon, and then you can use Black Metal Dragon to go into Striker Dragon. This is why Striker Dragon is so good, um, because then you can just get this effect off pretty much for free. Uh, so, Black Metal Dragon gets to search you... your Red Eyes Darkness Metal, and uh, Striker Dragon gets to search you your boot sector launch. Now, in your in your order of chaining, I would say that Red Eyes Darkness Metal is a hell of a lot more important than your boot sector launch. So um, just chain it so that Striker Dragon is chain link two and Black Metal is chain link one. So just chain it in that way. And then you could banish either Striker Dragon or LP, doesn't really matter. Um, we'll banish LP, because we can't bring that back this turn. Especially some of the Red Eyes Darkness Metal. And then Red Eyes Darkness Metal can bring back the Black Metal Dragon. And this is why Black Metal Dragon is really, really good, because it has no hard ones per turn. So now I'm going to use these four monsters to go into Sarayuja. You can chain it so that Black Metal Dragon can goes first, and you get to search your little Red Eyes monster. Um, we're going to search Red Eyes Malefic Dragon, because that's the next easiest one to summon. And then we're going to go off with Sarayuja. So we're going to draw four cards, and we get to send three back to the bottom of the deck. So, 
we don't need these Obi Raptors, so that's already two cards we can send to the, to the bottom of the deck. Let, let, let's put them in the Spawn Shop card zone to know which ones we want to send back. So we do have two Rockets in our hand um, to send for or to summon off a of Boot Sector launch, but we do want Rocket Tracer, so we don't need both of these Rockets. We don't need both of these rockets. I would say send Magnum Rocket back to to the deck so that we, we can summon it off of Rocket Tracer. So the bottom of the deck, the bottom of the deck, and the bottom of the deck. And now um, Black Metal Dragon goes off because it was sent to the grave. And oh no no we we already did Black Metal Dragon. Excuse me, excuse me. My fault, my fault. Um, so now we get to use Pisty. We get to use Pisty. We get to special summon out um, Red Eyes Darkness Metal from the graveyard. And then Darkness Metal can special summon back the Black Metal Dragon. Um, so now is would be the best time to go into the next Link monster, which is your Dragoonie Knight Romulus. And by sending both uh, Black Metal Dragon and your Pisty, you can go into it. And by using Romulus, you get to go into your Dragon's Ravine. Add that to hand. And so, you can activate Dragon Ravine. Thankfully, we drew the Miscellaneous Source, which is a real good card to, um, to happen to have in hand. Because, you know... It's, it's discarding effect won't really matter now. And so we can discard it to mill. We're going to mill Absarouter from our hand to the graveyard. Because I feel Borloid Savage is like the most important um, card to have in this situation. But you might disagree with me. I, I don't think there's like there's a point to milling Tempest. Like we can... We can make Tempest anyway. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to mill the Destrudo. Maybe we could find out a way to make a level 7 Synchro. Hmm. This is quite the predicament, isn't it? Because we do want... We do want to make a Borloid Savage, but we also want to make... Um, Odd Eyes Meteor Burst. Now, actually, since we do have Rocket Synchron in our hand, we can actually uh, finesse that a little later. So we actually don't need to send Absa Router from our from our um, deck to the graveyard. We can actually just send uh, Distrudo, and I will definitely show you why later. So um, Sarah Yuja has its special summoning effect. We're, we're just gonna let that go off before we do anything else. We're gonna special summon out this uh, DMZ Dragon from our hand. And uh, summon in defense mode. And we're going to let DMD Dragon attach a Black Metal Dragon to it. Move that to the spawn trap, trap card zone. Yeah, so this is attached to the DMD Dragon. You know, now, now that I think about it, it probably would have been smarter to just keep um, the Magnum Rocket Dragon in our hand. But, you know, what's done is done, so it's a little too late now. But, uh, from this point is when we would start to go into our Triple Burst. And so, this is why having um, Triple Burst is real important for going into your So we can go into Triple Burst here and there is a good reason why we want to use Red Eyes Darkness Metal instead of uh, DMZ Dragon and that's because uh, with Destrudo we can you know we can summon off uh, Destrudo off of DMZ Dragon but we wouldn't be able to summon Destrudo off of Red Eyes Darkness Metal so let's send our, our Destrudo um, our Red Eyes Darkness Metal and our Triple Burst to go into our Darkness Metal. Now we have nothing really amazing banished. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to use our Malefic Red Eyes Black Dragon to summon itself in attack mode. And we actually do get to um, banish a Red Eyes monster from our deck to summon it. So let's banish that. Uh, I, I guess I, like, my, my orders is, is going to be all fucked up, but let me just summon out, uh, this Destrudo, special defense, and now we can, uh, synchro both these off. Grave to grave to summon out our Odd-Eyes Meteor Burst. And so Meteor Burst gets to uh, Special Mount Supreme Gate Zero, but Black Metal also gets to search a Red Eyes card from deck to hand. So we are going to add... What are we going to add? We can add our Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon to our hand. And... Then this gets special summoned in attack mode. So move. So what we're going to do is we are going to attach this black metal dragon to this malefic red eyes dragon. And then we're going to overlay it with our supreme gate zero so that it gets sent to the grave and we can summon out a red eyes metal flare. And so when Black Metal, uh, Black Metal Dragon sent to the graveyard, we get to search our Red Ice Black Dragon to hand. And now this is real important, because now we can summon out our Red Ice Alternative Black Dragon. And now Red Ice Alternative Black Dragon can overlay with Meteor Burst. Oh, excuse me. You summon Red Ice Alternative by sending the uh, Red Ice Black Dragon to, to the graveyard and go into our second red eyes flare and if you know what red eyes flare does you know that it can detach to bring red eyes black dragon back from the graveyard which is real important and you know that uh darkness metal can also especially summon out a banished monster a banished dragon monster or just banished monster yeah, any banished monster to his own that he points to, which is why banishing with Malefic Red Eyes, as we did earlier, is so important. Let's see. We still have Miscellaneous Source. We still have quite a few cards we can use here. If I overlay both these um, Red Eyes onto the same flare, I won't be able to use its effect. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to send our Dragon Ravine to the Graveyard to activate Boot Sector Launch. Which, actually, we didn't even need to activate it because we can just banish um, Miscellaneous Source and summon out this Jirac Aolo from the deck. So, especially summon out Jirac Aolo. It's it's all about making a uh, Borload Savage Dragon. So, send both these to the grave. Special them out, Borload Savage. And Savage does get to equip Sarayuja to it. Move that to the Spawn Trap card zone. And you're like, Nistro, why would you do that now? Well, that's why we have our World Legacy Guard Dragon. And World Legacy Guard Dragon can... Special summon back either Black Metal or DMZ Dragon, since DMZ Dragon does not have a hard once per turn, so you can use it again, but, you know, you might as well just go into regular Black Metal Dragon. Special summon in defense mode. Um, now, we don't really have any other Link Monsters for us to go into, and we're kind of stuck when it comes to being able to summon out level 7 monsters. So what we're going to do is we're going to use War Legacy Guard Dragon to move our Borload Savage over here. And then we're going to use... 
we can't make another um, flare metal because black metal gets in the way. Actually, it doesn't. Actually, it doesn't. It can move itself uh, to the spell and trap card zone to attach the flare metal. So you can use the one flare metal that you didn't use yet to detach and summon out red eyes from the graveyard to the zone that black metal was in. And then you can use, you can finally use your darkness metals effect to special summon out this regular red eyes black dragon. And then overlay both of them to make your final flare. So now you have a Borload Savage Dragon with four counters. Uh, let's say that these two are equipped to each other. So you have a Red Eyes Flare attached with a Black Metal Dragon. So if anything happens to it, you, you can add a Red Eyes card from your deck to your hand, which you can add the Trap card. Um, you have, a, you have triple Red Eyes Flare, so for every card or effect your opponent activates, they're going to be taking 1,500 points of damage. And um, you have just uh, Omni Negate. Uh, Savage can negate anything. But as long as they don't have a Dark Ruler no more, and they don't have a Nibiru, they're probably going to lose. They are probably going to lose. Because how are you going to play around this? You, you, you would need... Um, to get rid of all three of these cards without having to use something like Kaiju's or, you know, Spear Mode, I feel like this is a pretty crazy end board that you can have here. Now, our hand was pretty broken first turn, but it wasn't like the best hand we could have had. And as you can see, we used just about every single monster in our extra deck to make this board. And Don Draxer isn't necessary. You can definitely play something instead of it. But this is what Red Eyes Guard Dragon is supposed to do. This is the ideal board for Red Eyes Guard Dragon. And that that's just a, a random hand. 